and they highlight the really juicy part where you have i mean that's not the context of what you're saying but they take it for clickbait fame is going to tell you that you are successful because you have a, a number of followers or you don't have a number of followers see how they're navigating because it's really it really is it's I am scared of fame, but not like, ooh, I'm so afraid, I won't go there, I'm not, nah, not that kind of fear, it's just, I don't want things affecting what matters to me, and it's almost inevitable, social media right now just makes it, just makes it impossible for people to not be in your business, especially when you're creating, when you're sharing. I have this, by the grace of God, wealth to give and I want to share. I want to give hope, I want to inspire, but I know that it's not everybody that's going to see that as something to applaud. But anyway, just watch the clips and then we'll get right back to the talking. <laughs> that you're happier right now than when you were broke or not really like you know it makes me happy it makes me happy that i'm able to afford what i want and it makes me happy that i get to treat my family but i feel like the way that i have money kind of took away a lot of my happiness you never know when somebody makes a meme out of you clowning you they might put you down it's like yes keep growing and being better and like you never want to digress you never want to just be like oh shit like my views are not popping like i would prefer that to just like have my peace you're gonna hit a point where you hit a wall and you're completely exhausted because all you're trying to do is get more customers get new viewers get new subscribers but worse off creating content that you don't even like they are successful they have achieved that variety the popularity the fame they are known and acknowledged in the society they're not looking for an audience they have an audience but all of them seem to be coming back to the point that makes me scared or would have given me concern it's more like would have given me concern because where i am right now is more conscious and aware of myself more discerning or not losing the value in my life so it's more of what used to scare me first things went to me to me but i am big on god i love god he is the literal source of my life is everything about my life he is my core the most dependent concept of my life i'm sold to him and you know the thing about social media and, and and fame the world doesn't want to hear about god so it's like the more you're going to be about god the struggle when it comes to being in the world basically second thing for me is family sometimes this chase for an audience it takes you away from what matters checking up on family looking out for them going for events that matter things like that because there are deadlines there are things you have to meet you have to go for a brand trip you have to do this you have to do that and you are just in this race before you know it the core of your life the thing that actually matters in your life just starts to dwindle third thing is originality when i started taking content creation seriously this year i was consuming a lot of information how to do things better i don't want to be average in any space so there's always information about what you should do so that you get views so that you, you your content is pushed out and most times they talk about creating content that is not necessarily the heart of what you want to do but is right now what people are looking for Vanessa Lau addresses this. The more you feed an audience that is looking for something that is not what satisfies you to, to a good extent, you start to lose yourself. You start to just create for a crowd you don't know. But they keep showing up. So because you can't create it, you keep creating. And at the end of the day, you are returning back every day and you're lost. I don't think any creator should be in that place where they lose their originality. Another aspect is my voice. Guess what? The higher you climb, the more you cannot just speak. You have to be diplomatic about issues. You cannot just say things anyhow because now everybody knows you. And before you know it, even the things that you say with true intent are misconstrued and published and they highlight the really juicy part where you have 
I mean, that's not the context of what you're saying, but they take it for clickbait. And the next thing, everybody has an opinion about you and you're just like, wow, sometimes it hurts. I naturally don't want to be in that space again where anything contends with my voice. I want to be able to speak. I'm not daft. <laughs> I, I believe I know when it's intelligent to speak. And then I have God. The Holy Spirit will lead you, will tell you when to speak and when not to speak. And then the final thing, is understanding in the film industry <laughs> we see it we, people just believe that they have an opinion over your life because you are out there and there are parts of your life that are showing they even believe they have an opinion over your, over your life because of characters that you play characters that are fictional characters that you are giving your best to portray people believe that because they have access to that information or they have watched you that they know you Example, patients are so cool. We want to buy this fight. Which one of us hasn't questioned is she really like this? And people even take it a step further. Personally, I don't want to be in any place where I'm not understood. Fame is going to tell you that you are successful because you have a, a, a number of followers or you don't have a number of followers. It's really no longer about who you are. So, is it worth it? I personally would answer it this way it's not about it being worth it or not, it's inevitable. In Mark 1, verse 28, I believe, it talks about Jesus' fame spreading across the land. Jesus didn't come to be famous. He came to die for our sins and bring us back to God, connect us back to a life source that we originally were supposed to be connected to. And people knew him to be someone who gave value. If I meet Jesus, I will be healed. If there's a problem, something will happen. But that was really not why he was here. So it's inevitable and value is related to you. I can, I can argue that value is when somebody receives something that blesses them, but value to somebody else can just be the fact that you are dancing and they're smiling and they're happy and they will come again to see you dancing and doing nonsense. And as long as they are happy, you are giving them value. I can't say that it is not worth it because the reason why we are doing what we do is because we want to give to an audience i'm an actor because i love portraying characters but if i'm portraying characters nobody's watching it even more than the money the thing that gives me joy is that somebody sees my work and appreciates it i'm a creator because i have i have value to give there's so much in here that i want to share and i'm just devising ways that i can put it out there so if there is no audience then it doesn't make sense Popularity and fame will come once you are giving value. Ooh. Fame shouldn't control you. You should control fame. And how I believe anyone can control it. Be you small, creator, be you big and just trying to get your food back. It's one, stop looking for viral moments. Coming into this space, I've been taking information, taking information, trying things, experimenting, and I realized that it's exhausting. 50 ways to do this three seconds uh, do this and you you get this one that one yes it works for some people if something i'm i put out there has value and it goes out praise the lord i'm going for but i think i appreciate seeing the numbers trickle in and that gives me joy because i am connecting to people that really want to be here i'm not looking for viral moments i don't i don't want crowd that's just going to be expecting a certain type of um content from me because that is not what i am going to be doing sorry making these decisions even as a small creator having value for yourself your content and for your audience and the community you're trying to build i already have value for you guys great we have numbers but would these numbers actually have to some extent one heart that's my prayer stop looking for virality because the faster i get out there the faster it dies and you need to follow that up again but if you are just being true to yourself being honest with your content then the people that understand it and believe in it they will become your community they will become your family online two disconnect from expectations literally what i'm saying is start now to off i have days when i'm not online for two days a day what am I doing? I'm spending time with God. It's just a lifestyle and a habit I have. I know where my fuel comes from. I know who is my source. And from time to time, I put out content, I, I go back. If I feel like I need 
I need fuel, I take a day off. Even if it's not a full day, just disconnect from the expectations of an audience and be in tune with yourself. Bake, cook, eat with family. Do something that is not related to giving value to other people. Give value to yourself. Right now, I'm not home. From my last video, you guys already know I'm with my husband. In a community that doesn't have light and water, I mean, light and internet, mostly. And... I haven't felt like I have lost anything. If anything, I have felt the most peace because I'm disconnected from expectations. I'm, I'm really in tune with myself. All we have here is a lot of trees, a lot of wind, a lot of water. And I don't feel like I'm lost. I don't feel like I need to... A technique, normally, I don't even need so much. But as long as I'm con communicating with my family from time to time, I'm good. Like, I've removed myself from any confusion. I remove myself from confusions of uh, 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 relationships, of, of career, all of that. And it feels like I'm starting over again. Sometimes you need to cut yourself off from the expectations of your job and give value to yourself. The last way that you can control it is pray. Come in the works of your hand. Right now, content creation is probably the, the work of your hand. Being an actor is probably the work of your hand. Being a, an artist is probably the work of your hand. Baking is the work of your hand. Come in the future audience to God. Pray about your audience. Pray for strength. Pray for wisdom. Pray. It's about to rain now, but please let me know. Does this make you anxious? Fame. And what's your thought on it? Drop it in the comment section and I'll be there to read there's more please check them out love and light